So Rousey and Shayna are celebrating the win when all of a sudden the music hits and Charlotte Flair makes her return with new music. And they note that she's been gone since May when she lost at WrestleMania Backlash and Ronda broke her arm. So Rousey pokes fun of breaking her arm and assumes that Charlotte wants a match at SummerSlam. I mean, the Royal Rumble. That's the that's the quicker one. And Charlotte says, no, I want a title match tonight. And Ronda accepts. Huh? Yeah. 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 Um. I know stuff like this happens in wrestling, you know, like, I mean, why did, why did, uh, you know, Mr. Fuji agree to Hulk Hogan's title challenge uh, at WrestleMania nine, you know, after just like going, you know, uh, facing Brett, like this, this stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense, but I think I needed something more here. You know, I needed a bit more justification for Ronda to suddenly put herself, I mean, as a heel, especially to suddenly put herself in such a, um, I don't know, ter- terrible situation. You're essentially granting the Charlotte flair, a money in the bank cash in, uh, without anything, without any work. Yeah, it's like we got this big match and it's it's like, yeah, like Ronda is this, I won't say like they portray her as a coward, but like the whole thing about the arm was like weakening Raquel because mm-hmm. she didn't want to face her like at 100%. And it would almost have been, it almost would have suited this better if she had come out and the arm, I'm not saying it had to be a 30 second match, but Mm -hmm. it's just like her arm is so damaged. And after several minutes, she finally just has to tap out. And the whole story is she beat a compromised Raquel Rodriguez. Charlotte comes out and Ronda's just overconfident. She had a breeze of a match and she's just, she feels so cocky that she can beat Charlotte. Uh, Instead of this way, she goes to this 17 minute war and then Charlotte comes out fresh from months of being away and i think you just gave away a lot of story in one segment the counter to that is i would imagine their thinking was we have one of our biggest audiences of the year we want to do something major and we're just going to do it all on this show but this could have been like weeks at least weeks of return tees she comes back she beats ronda for the title like at least until rumble and Anyway, she agrees to the match, and there's uh, a near fall immediately by Charlotte, uh, goes for a spear, and then Ronda tries for the arm bar, but gets rolled up, and it's over in 39 seconds. And like that, Charlotte is back as your women's champion, and I imagine they run this back at the Rumble. Like, that's the only reason I, I'm certain that that's the return is like Ronda just cuts the promo of what we just outlined here, that she had just gone through a lengthy match, but it was... It was an odd return to do so much in this one segment, but I think they wanted something very newsworthy on this last episode of the year. And I totally understand that. I totally understand why a company you're, you're going to sometimes would, compromise would, story for. I understand what, what the has thinking. the most. I, under, I understand why they want the headlines to be out there. Why you know it's it, it might be the best move for business. I just hate it though when they don't or can or at least they don't make that a, a good enough attempt to 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 get there through a logical story or i shouldn't say logical but maybe maybe more so like um a satisfying story you know like yeah this stuff can happen from time to time but again i didn't think ronda's motivation for agreeing to the match was strong enough i also feel like even like man to me like you're devaluing charlotte in my opinion, by just having granting her the championship without actually her working to earn it. You know, uh, she didn't earn the shot and certainly she's built no fan support to want to see her win this championship. And we're talking about Charlotte Flair. And at this point, they might as well just be like tacking on the numbers, like without us even knowing that's there's all that's always probably part of part of the game here, you know, just to give her a, an, an extra number just to kind of, you know, eventually get up to Flair. But I, I just I, so much of this feels so much more like mm, business driven and, and, and not artistically driven. And, and that always seems unsatisfying to me as a fan. Where where do you see things going for Ronda Rousey um, beyond this Charlotte? Uh, like if we assume this match is run back at, at the Rumble, like the direction for Rousey. Well, Becky always seems to be a destination, but um, is it uh, with the Raw Championship or the SmackDown Championship? Um, I think Bianca and um, you know Rhea seems 
seems like it'll probably be a bit of a shoe in uh, on the raw side of things. So, I mean, it would make sense to me if Ronda won the belt back and then maybe somehow defended it to uh, against Becky. Um, but I don't know what the what, what plans as they of have now, for it looks like. It looks like Ronda and Becky is not the direction for really re- WrestleMania. So, and and I don't know what the uh, direction is, but yes, um, yeah. D- um, Dave Meltzer had a thing about that uh, today on his show, and and I had heard this the same that it looks like that is not the direction for WrestleMania. Ronda and Becky. So, what are so the plans for the three? I, I, th- that's I don't know what the plans are for them, but that's why I ask where you could see a Ronda figuring herself in to mania like it's not a obvious is there um, a reason i so I, I guess my question is does wrestlemania involve ronda rousey still it's it's a great question like you watch this and like i don't see ronda getting the belt back and it does make you wonder like how how much ronda is figured into plans long term like even if it was you know wrestlemania like how much longer um, she sticks around like was she just planning to come back you know this january this rumble will mark a year since she came back mm-hmm. right you know, is yeah. she, like i if if the idea was like she's like if you're looking at timing wise to like wind down a character like ronda's kind of at that level for me at, i mean at it, this point i feel like wrestlemania would be that time though you know you've yeah. given, you've given ronda you think, this run. especially in la especially in la Yes, exactly. You know, uh, and not that it matters because like she'll be a heel and, and whatever. But like I, to me, Lo, you like you, you, you should do Ronda versus Becky. You know, before she's done with this particular run. I mean, they've delayed it really. Like it went after everybody, I think, demanded it for for the last year. Um, it, to hopefully, like you know, po- you know, have a better build. Uh, you know, uh, this year, and it surprises me that they wouldn't be doing it unless there was another reason. The bloodline is in the locker room, and Zane, this was an interesting segment. He asks Roman, Are you sure it doesn't bother you?